Hi friends, welcome to Account Masters. In today's session, we are going to see what is Phillips Curve. In the last two classes, we were discussing what is inflation and unemployment. So Phillips Curve is a continuation of those two concepts. So those who are not watched those videos, please do watch it. So in this particular session, we will be seeing the definition of Phillips Curve, relationship between inflation and unemployment as per Phillips Curve and the long run Phillips Curve. So this much area we will be covering. So let's start the discussion with the definition of Phillips Curve. The concept of Phillips Curve is introduced by Mr. A.W. Phillips. He stated that inflation and unemployment have a stable and inverse relationship. There exists an inverse or opposite relationship between inflation and unemployment. The theory claims that with economic growth comes inflation which in turn should lead to more job and less unemployment. So when, the, when there is economic growth definitely as a byproduct economy will be having inflation. As a result there will be more opportunity of job as well as as a result the rate of unemployment in the economy will be reduced. So this is the concept of Phillips curve. So here in this particular slide you can see the relationship or the graph of Phillips curve. There we can see the Phillips curve is downward sloping in the x-axis it is denoted or is, uh, marked the uh, unemployment rate and y-axis rate of inflation. So when the rate of inflation is very low for example 2 percentage economy will be facing a high rate of inflation that is 6 percentage which is denoted by point A on the Phillips curve. And at the same time when the economy faces a high rate of inflation we can take example of 5, uh, 5 percentage the economy's rate of unemployment is very low that is 3 percentage which is denoted by point B on the Phillips curve. It means as per A.W. Phillips view there exists an inverse relationship, stable inverse relationship between the rate of inflation and unemployment. But So he has stated that this is because of the physical stimulus would increase aggregate demand. So as a result more labor demand will be the more pool of employments will be created. As a result economies will be looking for more potential employees. So as a result the wage rate will increase. The wage rate are the cost of production for firms. So the firms will be transferring this cost to the customers. As a result what will happen the economy will be facing a high rate of inflation. But in 1970s what happened is that econo the economies faced another co concept or another phenomena that is known as stagflation. So it means the economy faced high rate of inflation and high rate of unemployment at the same time which totally criticized the view of Phillips curve. So that is what Phillips said is there exists an inverse and stable inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment. But during 1970s economy faced the just opposite situation that is high rate of inflation and high rate of unemployment. Because of this many more theories or more studies taken place in the field of Phillips curve and monetarist economy, monetary economists they came with another uh, justification that in the long run an increase in ag aggregate demand will definitely will lead to an increase in inflation but at the same time the as due to that high rate of inflation the real wage rate will remain the same. Since the real wage rate is same the labors won't be willing to work more hours of job or more extra supply of labor won't be the due to that the unemployment rate will remain unchanged at natural rate of unemployment at the same time due to the increased aggregate demand economy will be facing a high rate of inflation so this is what the justification of monetarist economies regarding the long run phillips curve due to that they suggested that oh according to their view in the long run economy will be facing a vertical Phillips curve not a downward sloping Phillips curve which is shown in the figure their LRPC shows the long run Phillips curve of the economy so there what is happening is the unemployment is remaining same at the natural rate of unemployment but the economy's inflation rate is increasing due to an increased aggregate demand. 
okay so this is what the view of monetary economist regarding in uh, the Phillips curve and we also saw the uh, concept of Phillips curve as per a w Phillips and those who have any more doubts regarding the sessions please do comment me I will try to help you okay thank you we will be seeing with another topic from economics in next day bye take care